last pictures of Bikini Atoll before the machinery of Operation Crossroads goes into action. 73 ships anchored in the peaceful lagoon. America's oldest battleship, Arkansas, destined to be heavily damaged, together with the Japanese Nagato. Germany's famous battle cruiser, Prince Eugen, was to escape with only minor damage. Cameramen make their last close-ups of the silent fleet. Here's the carrier Independence, whose flight deck was soon to be blown wide open. Veteran of Pearl Harbor, the old Pennsylvania drops anchor, another warship to survive the atom blast. Below decks of all ships and submarines, they are closing down the engine rooms as the order comes to abandon ship. Bulkhead doors are tightly closed as under battle conditions. Elaborate precautions ensure that every man gets safely away. Bullseye of the fleet, the red-painted target battleship Nevada, which bravely survived the impact of atom bomb number four. Everything's in order as she rides at her anchorage with a heavy load of explosives on board. Ten miles away, aboard the flagship Mount McKinley, the commanders of the task force, wearing protective goggles, await the final reports. 200 miles away at Kwajalein, super fortresses are waiting to take off with their loads of scientific equipment of all kinds. Dave's dream, the plane chosen to carry the bomb. A crew of nine, captained by Major Woodrow Swankert, are all set for their momentous task. Final briefing for cameramen, reporters and crews before the great adventure begins. Complete with parachute, the mascot Fritzi goes aboard to bring her master good luck. Yes, this is it as the giant plane takes off. 30,000 feet above the Pacific, other planes of the task force begin their part in the operation. Pictures of the complete target area are forbidden, but this scale model shows how it appears to the bombardier. Camera lenses flank the B-29 as it approaches the lagoon. Cameras like these filmed the atom cloud over Nagasaki in 1945. Very shortly, we bring you the historic story of the bombing itself, told by Group Captain Geoffrey Cheshire, VC, one of the few British observers to have seen mankind's most terrible weapon in action.